Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Pascal, and today we're gonna to do a short video clip on the prolordotic neck exerciser. So first off, this neck exerciser is used when the patient's neck, or when the person's neck is hypolordotic, meaning they're lacking the normal or the normal amount of cervical curvature in their neck. Okay, I've had a number of doctors ask me how to properly use this, so we're gonna go over some of the basics of when and how to use the prolordotic neck exerciser. So the prolordotic neck exerciser is used to warm up the soft tissues of the cervical spine prior to laying the patient on a cervical dental roll. So we always use these two in conjunction in our clinic. And so the number of repetitions, before I forget, let's cover that. So when the patient does these exercises, I personally have them hold the exercise for 10 seconds and repeat up to 50 times, right? So hold it for 10 seconds, repeating up to 50. I tell them a minimum of 30 a day, but I like to see them get to 50. And obviously I have them build in incremental repetitions of 10, meaning the first time they do it, I may have only have them do 10 repetitions of 10 seconds, then they can build to 20, 30, 40, and eventually 50 repetitions, holding for 10 seconds each time. So let's show you how to use this. So first off, the dental roll neck exerciser, pardon me, the prolordotic neck exerciser goes behind the neck, palms face the ground. The patient pushes the exerciser until it's locked out. Hands come forward to horizon. Now, depending where in the neck we're targeting the force, meaning if the patient is lacking curve in the lower part of the cervical spine, the hands will be below horizon. If the mid cervical spine, C4 to C6, is hypolordotic, the hands will be at horizon. If the upper cervical spine, C2 to C4 is hypolordotic, the hands will be above horizon. Now, once we get the hands out, we'll say that this patient has a mid cervical spine hypolordosis. Now the patient will retract the head and extend the skull, hold for 10 seconds and relax, right? So again, arms go out, hands come forward, posteriorly translate the head and extend the skull Hold the contraction for 10 seconds and relax. Now some of the common things to look for, some of the common mistakes people make, one is a lot of people when they're doing it freestanding are going to want to lean back as they look up. So we want to make sure that the patient is not doing thoracic extension when they are using the prolordotic neck exerciser. So to correct this problem we can have the person stand up against the wall with the block behind their shoulders. This will prevent them from leaning backwards. So when you look at them in sagittal profile, we should see the ear over the shoulder, shoulder over the hip, hip over the ankle. Then they can go ahead and perform the exercise and really focus on the neck without creating any extension of the thorax. I've also had questions of people asking me what to do if someone gets dizzy or feels lightheaded when performing the prolordotic neck exerciser. And a question that comes up is, well, my question to them would be to look at the atlas plane line. So often when a patient has a hypolordotic neck, but a very steep atlas plane line, so if the atlas plane line is at 29 degrees, which is ideal or above, a lot of times people can feel lightheaded or dizzy when they're extending the skull, meaning if their skull goes into extension, it increases the atlas plane line too much and can cause some symptoms of dizziness. In which case, we modify the exercise by having the arms go out and it becomes more of a head retraction, so a posterior head translation without any skull extension. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me at Dr. Pascal at lindenwoodschiropractic.com. So that's D-R-P-A-S-C-A-L at lindenwoodschiropractic.com. Hope you're having a great day and that you enjoyed this video.